I am back. Welcome back to my channel. I have missed all of you and connecting with all of you here so much. I can't believe it's 2021 already and I can't believe it's February. I took some time off for my mental health and it was really important for me too. It felt like what I needed because basically I have high functioning depression and I've had it for a long, long time and I have been constantly running away from it for a long, long time. And there have been moments in the last few years where I have hit these lows and um, read this content, I guess, or watched these videos that really, really hit deep, but I never felt like I was ready, I guess, to address it and to acknowledge it. But um, I finally reached a point where I did, where I felt like I, finally needed to show up for myself and to ask for help because I wanted to break the cycle and I didn't want to keep going through these ups and downs and wearing this mask and I don't know, not feeling anything and just constantly being burnt out because I would just ignore, you know, I guess my feelings and my suffering and just work and work and work um, and then constantly be exhausted and that was the cycle and I knew that in order to break away from that and to heal and to learn how to cope and to I guess look deep into the roots of that trauma and the roots of where that depression comes from I had to self-diagnose and I had to really open up about it with my therapist and really feel ready to come face to face with all of this baggage and this uh, I don't know, these feelings that I was running away from for so long, right? It's important to me to share this with you because one, I've shared my entire <laughs> journey with everything on this channel with all of you. And two, it's important to talk about in order to help destigmatize it. And for a long time, I had to overcome that stigma myself, not just with adm admitting that I had a mental illness, but also with admitting that I, like that, medication and that antidepressants are okay um and i'm so proud of myself for finally getting to that point but that took years <laughs> and i'm really grateful that i have access to my therapist and you know my benefit coverage and all of that i'll talk about all of this in my journey in a separate video um really just going in detail in hopes that it can help any of you out there especially because i think high functioning depression it's really hard for others to diagnose. It's probably a very common thing with first generations born here and also being like the first born in your entire like immigrant family and the expectations of that, like the expectations and the pressure that comes from that. And then also for me being a child of divorce and being the oldest child in the family, I'll probably make a video on all of that um, because I also know like not everyone has access to therapy and to mental health like support so if like my story can help with anyone out there too um that's what i'm here for you know i'm so happy to be back um i finally feel like i have the space to breathe and to think about what i want and what's gonna make me happy in these moments and the space to even just connect with myself in the present and realize how I am happy now and how I'm achieving my dreams now because I couldn't feel any of that in the space that I was for a long time. With all of this space and time to really focus on myself and the present and I don't know, the beauty of just living and the beauty of having space to think about these things where when I was in that phase, I couldn't think about any of this. I was just in this, I felt like I was just drowning constantly and gasping for air and being stuck underwater and also not knowing myself and just like being so removed, I guess, or just watching myself live this life and coasting through it, but not really living, more so just existing. And it was just in this really like whatever mindset that I don't think is healthy and it's not normal. So that is my little ramble, but also my life update. I hope that all of you are doing well and taking care of yourselves and checking in on yourself and your friends and family, especially through these hard times. Um, but I am just so excited to be back and be here. 
Anyway, I know that this was a bit of a different type of vlog, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and I love you all so much. I appreciate all of you so much for still being here and watching this video. Thank you for sticking around while I've been away, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, everyone. It's so cold. <laughs> Why did I pick today to go outside? My hair looks so crazy. We're going to the grocery store. Got my order, my edamame beans in bulk. She's so cute. Guys, this is our little startup's office. And it looks crazy right now because we're literally moving out and taking our stuff. But I'm gonna miss it. Look at these walls. I feel like I vlogged in here a really long time ago. Like vlogged this two years ago. Our big trees. Saying bye to our office. The things that bring you joy and entertainment these days. Good, right? Hello, everybody. I'm really digging my hair today and this little ear game. It's a mix of uh, Jewels and Aces, Etsy, and Blue Boho. So check it out. Also, look at my little pants. <laughs> I feel like I've had a pretty good day so far. I filmed. All of the clips that I storyboarded yesterday, which is something new I'm doing, and I really like it because I can really think about how I want a video to turn out. Um, and it was my first day of actually like being back and sharing content, if that makes sense. So I feel really good about it. One of the things I have been doing a lot recently is slowly selling things in my space that don't bring me joy on like Facebook Marketplace. So. I finally got rid of the bar stools that are too high for my kitchen, so now I have these ones. What else? Oh, my like little IKEA shelf, so now just my clothing rack there. Um, but I'm really excited. I want to make my space feel good and safe and like me, and I was holding off on it for a really long time. And I don't know, just things like getting a rug and a coffee table, you know? So for now, it still basically looks the same because I'm still waiting to get stuff. I am so excited for my posters to flatten out. These are from Opposite Wall. They are Montreal based and I'm working with them on a video. I'm really excited to get these frames in. I think they're going to go over here and this mirror is going to go into my room, but for now it's here because I like looking at myself when I work out, you know, <laughs> but I don't like how it's just like taking up so much space in my living room area, but yeah.